the Joe Rogan experience. That Narcos is an interesting. They did they did them right. I think this year they're going to Miami. They, they killed did, it with Pablo. They killed it. Killed it. Killed that it. That guy's so killed good. It. Killed it. And the guy the guy I liked that they hired was that dude that got like two thousand years in jail. The one who ran the island. Like his story is hilarious. <laughs> Because he was a, a a John Lennon fanatic, yeah, and he was half German, so he was a Hitler, but he was Spanish, <laughs> okay, and he was it sounds like and, a Saturday Night Live bro, scale. <laughs> So when the cops went, when the feds went all uh, extradite on these guys, they became the extraditables. This guy took to the radio, and they show scenes of him. On the radio, fucking hot. Like, okay, <laughs> so you cannot take us back to the United States because you're the number one exporter of our product. And he's snoring. All of a sudden, he sees like an assistant walk by and he goes, hey, come here. And all of a sudden, he's like, and all of a sudden, she just kneels down. She's blowing him on camera. And he's, what? And he's like, listen to me. You have to. He became nuts. When was this? They Listen. Li listen to what they did, okay? Hold on. Is there a video of this you can get? Oh, my God. Carlos Laid There is a fucking lunatic. Carlos Laid There was the one who went to Pablo and said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly the coke back for you, but we're going to make a stop on an island. So they bought an island. They fucking threw the doctor off. There was a white doctor. That was like, oh, nice to meet you. And they were like, listen, they, there's a whole story about it that's hysterical. The guy called the feds. There's something going on over there. They're doing pornographic. You know, they're running in planes of blow. Wow. And there's this one, they bought everybody out, but there was this one white dude who was like, this is my island. I'm an American. I fought in World War II. I'm not leaving. And they're like, dog. We're going to fucking kill you. <laughs> okay? We're going to keep. And all night, they were bringing in planes, re refueling them, and sending them out. Carlos laid there. What does it say? U.S. drug lord and Escobar partner laid there, released for, in Germany from prison. When was this? Oh, my God. He's just Germany. now. From Florida to Germany. Oh, from Florida to just, Germany. Because he's a, originally from Germany. He's, his father was German. He's got 2,000 years. So what they did was this. What they did was this. It doesn't take a fucking genius. This kid got the island. He made them a bunch of money. But then he started doing a podcast from the island with cameras and naked women. What? Of him snorting coke with a robe on. How old was he? Uh, who the fuck knows? 28, 30, just making 20 million a day. Think if you're making 20 million a day and you're just addicted to coke. There's bags of blow behind you. He's just ripping bags open, snorting them, just talking. He was a John Lennon fan. So he would talk about come to There he is. He would do these videos for hours, for days. So he was like an original YouTube star. <laughs> yeah, so what they did was, but he wasn't posting on YouTube. He but was if like, he did, he would so be So what huge. they did was. He's MySpace boy. He's the first one they gave up. When the shit got deep and the Colombians were in trouble. Mm. The five Colombians sat down. They said, listen, this kid's on an island talking about Jim Morrison in the doors. Mm. Let's let them, Let's let the feds know do, where he's do, at. Do, 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 we'll do. give him you, and we got no beef. So they extradited, laid there. They gave him 2,000 years. Oh, I my mean, God. Look up the sentence. I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. They gave him 1,000 so years. So why would they extradite him to Germany? Because he gave them information years later about... He gave them he gave them like vital. He gave them really great information that if the country fucking knew, we would sink. Like he gave them shit. Like that, what? He gave them information that he was he also not beside having his island that that was also a a, 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 a distraction. His main contributor, his main supplier was Fidel. So he Fidel was letting him go to Cuba bring the coke to Cuba, stock it, and for every ship that went out from Cuba to the United States with a Cuban flag, Fidel would get a kickback of $800,000. Fidel was sending three, four ships a day. So he testified against Fidel, which obviously nobody ever arrested Fidel. 
and he told them everything he knew about the ins and outs of money moving. You could find it online, all the shit he wow. had done. This uh, guy in Blow is based off of him. And that, a that guy in Blow is based mm. on him. He's a cellmate, George Young's cellmate in prison. Isn't it funny? Like, no one wants their son to do that, but everybody loves these movies. <laughs> <laughs>